Welcome to Emotional Soulmates. Every Saturday at 7 a.m. on Papiati's YouTube channel, we dive into thought-provoking reflections on happiness. Today, let's explore an intriguing notion. Dwelling in the present moment is a wonderful moment. This insight invites us on a journey to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, simply by embracing each moment as it unfolds. Reflect for a moment. All we truly possess is the present. Isn't that right? The past is behind us, just a fleeting thought, and while it may tempt us to reminisce, we can't revisit it. Just yesterday, I savored a delightful rib rice dish, a flavor I hadn't tasted in ages. Now, it exists only as a memory. No way to recapture that specific experience. Even if I plan to eat the same dish today, there's no assurance it will taste as wonderful. The uncertainty of the future reinforces the idea that our true home lies in the present. Yesterday's meal was cherished as it happened in that moment. Thus, the present becomes the most secure haven. When we settle our past sorrows here and release future anxieties, we find solace and clarity. Embracing the present moment is not just a refuge. It's where true happiness dwells. Through a lens of mindfulness, Let's examine an experience that illustrates the transformative power of the present. Imagine a scenario where a relative confides in you, sharing their distress about being deceived and losing money. Instead of offering immediate comfort, the traditional response might be to scold or criticize the victim for their naivety, creating emotional distance and deepening their pain. In this moment, it's essential to pause just for a second or two to ask, what's happening right now? The younger person is seeking solace, not judgment. By simply acknowledging their feelings and listening with compassion, you can create a space for healing rather than harm. Empathy, instead of anger, fosters connection and understanding. Responding with kindness shapes our interactions. It allows us to build trust and support rather than push people away. Often, we overlook this simple truth. We all crave understanding, especially in our moments of vulnerability. Just like we wish for a gentle touch when we falter, our loved ones desire the same when they face hardships. Reflecting on this brings to light how living in the present enriches not only our own lives, but also the lives of those around us. When we're present, we can observe pain and joy as they arise, enabling us to respond thoughtfully with grace and wisdom. Consider how these interactions ripple outwards into our lives and communities. Just as soccer is often dismissed as frivolous by some, it holds deeper economic and social significance. The events surrounding it boost local economies, uplift communities, and bring people together, highlighting that our perceptions can often overlook profound interconnectedness. Embracing the present also beckons us to engage with the world around us actively. Whether it's in conversations, activities, or even global events, every moment is ripe with opportunities to learn, grow, and connect. Through this mindful approach, we become more perceptive and engaged in the narratives unfolding around us. So, if you're feeling discomfort in today's fast-paced life, remember that it's perfectly okay. I always aim to cultivate a space where we can address these feelings together, reminding each of us that we are not alone in our struggles. Each episode I create is infused with love and understanding, rooted in the belief that shared experiences can lighten our burdens. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and empathy. Together, let's strive to live fully in the present, finding joy in every moment, nurturing our connections, and allowing the simplicity of now to guide us toward a more fulfilling life.